Hi, I'm Louise Patterson. I'm an interior stylist. I have a passion for making your environment looking great and feeling wonderful. When I'm styling a wall that seems very bare or I'm choosing to start an art wall, my first thing is to choose the wall. Oftentimes it's behind the sofa as it's usually the blankest, largest space in the living area. And there's often no interruption of windows or doorways. Second thing when I'm doing the wall is I choose the pieces and I will either choose one cohesive factor, all the same frames, or all the same design. Third thing I do is choose the layout. Often I'll do this on the ground and then tape them up onto the wall to see how they look. I would always start with the bigger things in the middle, trickling off to the smaller things to the side so that it gives a natural boundary to the space. When you approach styling your art wall, it's fine to have personal preferences. If you decide that the wall seems too large in one spot, then you can work your look to one side. Each art wall is individual to the space that it's in. The relevance of the furniture placement to the positioning of the art all comes into play. I always choose to do the art wall as the last thing I style.